I'm going to share with you five ways that you can still have a garden if you have no land to do so. Hey, this is Rama from Creations Landscape Design, Josh Friendly and Landscapes. So I live in a 424 square foot condo and I have a 100 square feet pad of concrete by my front door that is my garden. I can't dig it out and plant something in the ground so I have to somehow have a garden and I've come up with five ways that I've been able to do it and so can you. Now before I tell you what these five things are, I make videos about drought tolerant landscapes, California native landscapes, sustainable landscapes, and if you'd like to get more of that content in your feed, then hit the red subscribe button. I upload videos every Friday. So let's get started. The first thing that you can do to have a garden if you have absolutely no land to do so is pottery. Now if you live in Orange County, you can go to West Coast Pottery, OC Succulents, Plant Depot, Armstrong Gardens, and they have a whole slew of pottery in different sizes, shapes, colors that you could possibly get. And it works really well because it allows you to still be able to put plants in the garden without actually having land to plant in. Now, side note, if you do use pottery and if you don't have land, obviously that plant you put in the pot is not going to get as big as it would get in the ground and you might have to water it weekly, but at least it allows you room to have plants. Now the specific plants that you put in a pot will depend. Do you get more sun? Do you get more shade? Are you looking to just put plants so you have something pretty to look at? Or are you inclined to want to grow herbs and vegetables in pots? The second thing that you can do is vertical gardening. You can use woolly pockets or any sort of vertical gardening system and you either put it, zip tie it to a railing, or you can somehow screw it to the wall and have plants that way. And again, the type of plants you use will depend on what you intend to do with the landscape and what your intention is. The third thing that you can do is use railing planters. I use Greenbow railing planters, and I will put a link to them down in the description of the video. And what I really love about it is it sits on top of the railing or on top of the fence or whatever you've got and you can easily plant inside of it. I have herbs and whatnot growing inside of mine. The fourth thing that you can do is have window boxes. If you have the room and you can have a standard little window box, which you could probably get at Lowe's or Home Depot, then that creates a perfect space to have a landscape where then you can also add some color. Now granted in window boxes you're not going to have as much room to plant like really big plants but at the very least you'll have some room. And the fifth thing that you can do to your landscape if you don't have actual land to garden in but you want to is have hanging baskets. And you can pretty much get pre-made hanging baskets of succulents, make your own, and just kind of craft your own thing. One thing that I'm actually going to experiment with, and I'm going to do this this weekend in my own home, is put a shower curtain rod inside the window of my kitchen, get S hooks, and just basically have plants hanging from that. And that is going to be my relatively inexpensive way of having hanging plants where that way it's also not permanent in that I'm not drilling holes in the walls and whatnot. You can do a whole slew of things. There's actually a really good book that you should read called Garden Up by Rebecca Sweet and Susan Morrison that talks about gardening upwards, specifically if you can't garden in the ground. 